in my own hometown. Stranger. Howdy folks, Little Johnny and this week's version of uh, Five on Friday. It's brought to us today by the uh, fine peoples at Ballantyne Scotch and their 12 year old blended whiskey. And today, let's have a bit of a quick yarn about um, carving your beer, the method of carbonation of getting gas into your, into your beer and you know, more specifically into bottles. Um, obviously, yeah, brew, we're either bottling or we're kegging, and yeah, reality is that most brewers, when they're first starting out, are obviously going and using bottles, you know, whether it be stubbies or Cooper's Long Necks or yeah, whatever they can get their hands on, you know, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, that's our normal step. We're normally in, into bottles, um, so we need to carve our, carve our beer. So after it's finished brewing, we stick it into the bottle. We need to add some form of sugar to it to kick off a, a secondary far fermentation which produces the CO2 which carbonates the beer. And there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing that. And for a lot of guys, when you like when you're first starting, the simple method is to buy a bag of carbonation drops and drop, yeah, two carb drops into your long neck or a single carb drop into into a stubby, yeah, and put them away. Uh, and that works, yeah, reasonably well. Um, problem I've always found particularly with using that single carb drop in a stubby uh, I bottle in stubbies more than long necks because I generally don't like drinking a whole long neck of at a go I tend to, if I'm going to have a couple of beers I'll have a couple of different beers in the one session and I prefer to have stubbies so I bottle in stubbies um, and I find that, that that one drop in that in the stubby is too much the carbonation is over the top um, I mean, it's not massively excessive, but it's higher than I'd, than I'd like. Um, so I've always gone through the process of chopping the carb drops down into um, two thirds and a third, and you know, and do it going that way. Um, sometimes even going as low as a half on, um, you know, on English bitters and some stouts or anything. I'm going to age that's going to sit in the bottle for a while. I'll go with a, a lower. Um, dose initially, so sometimes half a half a carb drop would be the go. Um, that's a little bit fiddly. It means chopping them up with a knife and you know, playing around, and you can get a little bit of inconsistency by doing that. Um, that doesn't particularly worry me that much, but you know, ideally you want to have the same. You want to know every bottle you pull out's going to have the same level of carbonation because it doesn't. Does to some degree affect the taste and the final, you know, the final finish. So I got to the point, and there's a lot of, lot of brewers do. They go, oh, look, I'm really want to have a little bit more control. You step up to bulk priming, um, and for me, if, if you're staying with the bottles, bulk priming is the best way to be do, of doing doing your carbonation. You can use cal calculators online. There's plenty of them there. And you can calculate how much of the chosen sugar you're using you need to get a certain level of carbonation based on the style that you're brewing, you know, your fermentation profile, you know, and also a little bit on you know, what level you want. You know, do, you, do you want a really highly carbonated pale ale or do you want a lightly carbonated pale ale? You know? And you can play around with that. You know? And then you can play around with your sugars and you get different effects. You, know, you can use you know, using dextrose or white sugar, raw sugar, brown sugar, you know, light dry malt, you know, liquid malt. There are so many options. You, know, you can crowd them, you know, take an unfinished beer off the top and adding that back into the bottles at the end, let that to let you know what's left in that to finish the beer off, you know, with the carbonation. There's a lot of methods that you can use. And 
no particular method's right, no particular method's wrong. They're all just different. You know, they all work in their own different ways and they all produce a different result. Um, so as brewers, you, know, you need to work out what works best for you. What's what works best in any particular beer, because what works in one beer is going to be different in another beer. Um, I did a video, like, way back, it was one of the very first videos I'd done, and it was on different priming methods of priming, um, and the different flavours that those different methods produced. I've had several interesting discussions with people over, <laughs> over time about the fact that, you know, well, not so much the fact, but over their belief that, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of sugar you use, it doesn't affect the flavour. Well, my experimentation certainly shows it does, and I can't see any other any, any reason why it wouldn't make things different. Um, if you're interested in that, yeah, go back and have a look. Go and have, back and have a look at the video. I think it was the actual the um, the glass washing video, and it may well it may well have been the first video I did. Um, But there is definitely differences between the between the methods. Um, so you need to play around with it a little bit and work out what you like. You know, you might prefer to have white sugar to prime a lager, and rather a brown sugar to prime, you know, an English bitter or a or a stout. You might like, you know, dark brown sugar for a for a, for a stout. Um, they're all going to add their own characteristics and flavours. Uh, and have their own impact on how, how that beer finishes. So, you know, carbon, carb, priming and carving is necessary. You know, it's something you've got to do. So you need to work out the best way or, or how to do it for yourself. You know, and just simply using the same method back, beer after beer after beer after beer, whilst getting results, it's not giving you the opportunity to see if another method is going to work better for you, if you're going to enjoy a beer better by priming with a different, you know, with a different sugar or with a different method. Yeah, so I say, I sort of suggest you, if you're out there and you and you haven't tried, try it. Use something different. Have a look. You know, if you're, not, if you're just using carbons, look at bulk priming. If you, you know, if you have bulk priming, look at using a different sugar. Do split batches. You know, bottle some with one method, some with another, and try to compare them side by side for yourself and see what you like. You know, don't just roll along doing the same thing because that's just what you've done or that's the easy way of doing it. You know. It's not difficult to do half a batch with carb drops and half a batch with, say, dextrates, and yeah, you know, and even half half a dozen bottles with some raw sugar, yeah, you know, and set them aside, and yeah, you know, when you when you're drinking them, try the difference, and you know, as we discussed, you know, a week or two ago, keeping the record, so you know, okay, and you go, okay, well, on that beer, I prefer to use this priming method, you know. Because using the same one is just ridiculous. You keep it, you just you leave in your beer in this little narrow band. You know, and it, you know, maybe the best place for you is over here, not there. But you don't know if you haven't tried this over here. You know, it's just that's just the same as trying different beers and different styles. You don't know, you know. So they go, oh, that's one you know, the other bloody week. I said, I don't like lagers. I can't drink lagers. Don't drink lagers. I only drink ales. And I thought, well. And I've seen both, like, like, they jump away around, but I only drink lagers, I don't drink ales. I also, yeah, really? Try something, try different stuff, experiment, expand your bloody horizons a little bit. You, you know, sometimes you just get surprised and you learn something new about, you know, the things that you're drinking, the things that you're doing, yeah, and sometimes a little bit about yourself, yeah. If we aren't learning about ourselves, what the fuck are we doing? But anyway, apologies for swearing. And that's me for today. Carving prom, as always, if you've got any questions, you know, stick them down the bottom. I'll always, you know, anyone knows, I'll get back to answers reasonably quickly. If you haven't hit that subscribe button down the bottom there, hit it. Keep up to date with what's going on. Uh, a few views coming up. Hit the like button. Share it, or share it, share it with friends if they, uh, you know, they're the one of them bloody brewers who just sticks a silly old bloody glucose tablet in their bottle every time. Share it with them. Open their minds a little bit. And that's it. Till I see you again. We're talking beer, drinking beer, brewing beer. Good brewing. <laughs>